We are living through the transformation of a formerly democratic republic into something else. We're looking at growing authoritarianism. That's not an overstatement. Wait a second. Tucker Carlson is 100% right. What's going on here? Who did shoot Ashley Babbitt and why don't we know? Are anonymous federal agents now allowed to kill unarmed women who protest the regime? That's okay now? No, it's not okay. It'll never be okay. Wow, Tucker, what a brave stance. Good one. Okay, let me get this straight. It's authoritarianism when police shoot right-wing terrorists committing an insurrection, but it's not authoritarianism when police round up peaceful protesters and throw them into vans. Use your words! What are you doing? I haven't done anything at all. Use your words. What is going on? Who are you? NLG will get you out. What's your name? Tell us your name. What's your name? Okay, you're fine. We'll get you out. Bro, what? We got you, friend. We got you. NLG. You just violated their rights. Kidnapping people. You just violated their rights. Ah uh, yes, the sweet, sweet double standard of the right wing. We need law and order, unless I don't like the laws. Count every vote, unless my guy loses. All lives matter, unless they're not white. The hypocrisy never ends with these people. And why are all those January 6th protesters still in prison on trespassing charges, as so many Biden voters who torched federal buildings walking free? Okay, first off, let's not let him get away with saying that. He just labeled a government insurrection as trespassing. But guys, this is what Tucker Carlson does. He twists the truth to fit his narrative. So when he says something like this, We are living through the transformation of a formerly democratic republic into something else. We're looking at growing authoritarianism. That's not an overstatement. He's absolutely right. We are looking at the disturbing rise of authoritarianism in the United States, but it's not from the left, even though Tucker desperately wants you to believe that. It's from neoliberalism and the fascists that it spawns. Its members wore masks, some carried plastic shields, and according to their banner, they were marching, as they put it, to reclaim America. And Tucker is a vital cog in that machine. On a weekly basis, he wages war on truth and replaces it with dangerous conspiracy ideas like what you just heard. The irony is that it's not just the insurrectionists that are to blame for what happened on January 6th. Right-wing media figures like Tucker Carlson played a massive role in brainwashing the public into believing that it's anyone but the right wing that's destroying the country. Thank you everyone for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Lastly, please share this video. Let's not let the right continue distorting the truth.